Hey guys, so I know I just put up a car tour, but I decided I want to put up a closet tour and if you guys stay tuned till the end of the video you would find out that I'm selling some of my clothes and my hand-me-downs from this closet and it's going to be a regular thing from now on. So that's what gave me the idea to show you guys what my closet is like from shelf to shelf. You know, you've seen it in a lot of videos, but I want to show you everything. It looks like this. You guys have seen my closet in a lot of my videos on this channel and I felt like it was about time to show you everything section by section, you know, you know the drill. So over here I have, well I kind of have my closet split in two sections. This section over here I like to call it my vintage inspired section. I know there's some fur in there that's not vintage, but anything that's blush or vintage I throw in here. As you can see, there's some pops of baby blues. I kind of just wanted this rack to be a little aesthetically pleasing because all the others are kind of mumble jumble and I just wanted some kind of aesthetic for this rack. And over here I have a white winter coat on this dress form and I got an umbrella light over there. So as you guys know, I'm not like the cleanest person in the world, so I have some stuff laying around, but I did get these new Louboutins and they're sparkly and I'm obsessed with them. They're such going out shoes. And then I just have some luggage, this Henry Bendel luggage, Louis Vuitton luggage. You come over here and I'll start at the top. You get all of these designer boxes up here that I like to hold on to. And I just think they aesthetically all go well together. I think they look very pretty up there. And then over here, I have these two shelves filled and filled with these pastel shoes. And that's what they look like. And down here, I have some chokers, I have some jewelry and collars, and I have some jewelry boxes with stuff I want to give away. And over here, I have a Valentino box, and I think I have like important receipts in there. And up here, I have just like accessories and more accessories. I kind of just used this bottom row for some accessories, like headpieces, necklaces, chokers, all that fun stuff. Yeah, I'll do an overview of these. I have headpieces on these mannequin heads. I got this idea from Scream Queens in Chanel's closet. She has these mannequin heads with headpieces on them. I made my own uh, Chanel number no. three earmuffs right here, and then I bought these from Etsy. I kept this Ariana Grande box right here because it's just so beautiful and I feel like it's aesthetically pleasing. And I have this bench right here and I sit there and put shoes on or I edit videos on here. I also have a lot of my like pinky and girly perfumes in here and I am obsessed with the Ari Hermes so you guys know that that's just always been a thing with me. I also just got this candle for Valentine's Day and it's called Fresh Cut Roses. I'm obsessed. Down here I have my going out bag. So anything I would just grab and put like my camera and phone and wallet in is right here. I mean I have just like random Michael Kors, Ted Baker. And over here I have socks and tights and dress scarves. Then under here I have my Asian Provocateur lingerie. And as you guys know, Asian Provocateur is my all-time favorite. It's better than Victoria's Secret in my eyes. And I, I got like really cute Valentine's Day underwear. Look how cute with the hearts. And then I have a lot of my designer bag bags. You know what I mean when a designer bag comes in like a, like a protector bag. I have all those right here. And then in here is like designer lane. I have some designer stuff just like displayed. Over here I just have more clothes, more clothes. I got this for free, I don't know why, from Asian Provocateur. But this is a dress bag in case I'm traveling and I want like my dress to be protected. It's a really pretty dress bag, so. You know how I said that rack is like vintage and blush colors? Well this theme right here I said was Chanel's or like Scream Queen slash 90s, 90s grunge. So I have like a lot of like Chanel looking stuff like what the Chanel's would wear and um, You've probably seen a lot of these in my videos before a lot of furs over here and ostrich feathers going on And just anything that looks like something a Chanel would wear I have over on these racks So over here. I know this looks scream Queens as well 
so does everything but I call this the French rack and anything that looks I know everyone was calling me out saying not all French people dress like that but there is a style called like French chic and that's the style I was going for with these racks anything that looks French chic but yeah this is like the Parisian styled racks I'm obsessed with this rack you don't understand like I've shown you guys probably recognize a lot of these from different hauls I've done so yeah this is pretty much my favorite rack and that's why I put it right next to my mirror because when I'm taking selfies I want those clothes to be seen over here I have a picture with the queen the one and only Paris Hilton uh, we have the same manager so um, you guys were wondering, we, we were like commenting on each other's pictures and stuff. We know each other because of our manager. And because I feel like I'll get a lot of questions on where I got this nightie from, I got it from Windsor. Yeah, I love taking pictures in this room. This is my favorite selfie setup I ever set up. Like this long mirror, Paris right here, my favorite clothes right here, and like the shoes behind me and the boxes. I kind of did that on purpose for selfie reasons, so if you guys love this, let me know in the comments down below. And over here, I have my jewelry. I have pretty much all rose gold jewelry, and um, I need to start using this more. I put, I have all my earrings still in like my travel bag. I have like my Chanel chain here, as you guys remember from the vlog. I have my Chanel earrings from the Halloween party. And I have um, more Chanel earrings. I'm just obsessed with Chanel earrings. And then I have like my favorite pendants and choker. I love my Tiffany's choker. And then underneath I have like boxes and receipts because with jewelry you gotta keep all of that. And I have my travel jewelry bag right there. My one and only fancy yellow jacket. For those of you who saw me on Girls Night In know I wore this at every single show. And my stage name was Fancy Ella. Now to the exciting part, guys. So, in here is a closet in a closet. <laughs> and I put my Christmas tree in here and some luggage. Under here is any costume I've worn for Halloween or a music video or anything like that is right here. I know it's really disorganized. Um, I have some Girls Night in costumes down there. But up here, I have clothes that I'm going to be giving away. For those of you who don't know this, I opened a Poshmark shop. And I'm going to show you guys what that is right now. But basically, every month I'm going to take down clothes because I shop so frequently. And put them in here when I no longer want to use them. And I'm going to sell them to you guys. So like I was saying, I have a Poshmark account. And this is what it looks like. It's so pretty, guys. You need to shop from here. Just look at that. So this is basically what it looks like if you wanna buy something. Um, you go here and you see like all the details of it. And this was the original price. And then I give a cheaper price. Poshmark recommends 50 to 70% off retail value. So I always make sure to give you guys a good deal. The only one that I don't give a good deal with is for a very good reason. I know it's a ridiculous cost for this one, but that is because it was one of my original costumes from the Girls Night In tour. So yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely selling it for a lot because it means a lot to me. I'm just showing you guys this because I wanna let you know that half of these hand-me-downs um, are involved in my videos or my career, so you guys would feel super special wearing them. See, I had this in a haul, and I wore this in the intro of a video, and I wore this in a haul, and I wore this top in a video, and you guys probably know what videos I'm wearing what from, which is so cool, because then you guys could be wearing the same stuff that I wear, and those are all reasonably priced. It's just the girls' night in one is priced a little different. Um, so my username is Fanciella. Make sure to follow me. I'm gonna show you guys how I post and sell. Pretty much, I go find the image in my library, and right now, I'm gonna sell these shoes, because I don't wear them anymore, unfortunately. So, there's options to pick a filter. I already have these filtered. So then I hit next and then I click add another photo because I want to give every angle possible because you guys are buying these. So I took two different angles. Then I give a title to these. I'm going to call them Pom Pom Vans. And then you do a description. So I'm going to write Emily Warren 
once, which is very true. All the stuff I made sure I only wear once or never wore it at all. The only exception is that girl's night in costume, obviously. So then you pick category. I'm gonna go to shoes. Um, I'm gonna pick, huh, sneakers? Yeah. I'm gonna pick US six and a half because that's my shoe size. Brand, I don't know if they have it in here, but I think I got these shoes from Dolls Kill. Color is pink. Original price, um, usually I look this stuff up for now, I'm going to say they were $20. And because Poshmark recommends 50 to 70% off retail value, I'm going to say that I'll charge them for $9 and hit next. And then list. And that's how I do it. And you can share your listings with a lot of social media, which is fun. And ta-da, now you see this listing. See? And you see all the angles, you get all the information. Guys, please become a user. You have the advantage of being the first users to shop at my shop if you're watching this video. If you shop for my shop, make sure to tweet me or tag me in an Instagram picture or tweet me a picture of you wearing some of my stuff because I would love to see it recycled. And if you do that, I will retweet you or favorite you or like or whatever because that's just so exciting because you're we're just sharing a part of my life, you know? Make sure to shop my shop, guys. Make an offer on my items. And just so you guys know, you earn $5 after your first purchase, and my code is GKEAT. It's so exciting, and I'm very excited to um, let you guys in on this part of my life. So yeah, count is fancy, y'all. And I just realized, I forgot to show you guys, that this is my vintage closet in this apartment. As you guys know, in my parents' house, I have a vintage room. This is where I put all my vintage clothes. In here, I have it stored in my closet, so. Oh yeah, just so you guys know, I moved that bench to take the thumbnail picture because I wanted to show the bench and the shoes. So yeah, that's why it looks a little different right now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I worked super hard on building my dream closet, and I hope you guys enjoy my closet as much as I do. Love you guys.